episode is dedicated to celebration. Going back to Halloween, we had the 8th grade Halloween dance and the TA door decorations. Now we're going to take a look at the Otterly Haunted House uh, and then some pictures from last year at the Pittsburgh Haunted House. And Brendan, speaking of celebration, we have an interview with the golf team. Brendan, did you know that we are actually uh, two-time winning state champs? I did not. Well, we are. So let's cut over to an interview with Thomas Politano. I'm here with Thomas, and today we're going to be talking about Thomas and the golf team winning the state championships oh <laughs> twice in a row. Yeah. So, Thomas, how did you get into golfing? So, my whole family has always been into golf, you know. As kids, we were very competitive, and we kind of drove that competitiveness into, into this competition, and me and my brother went out there and, and did a competitive thing, and I was always golfing with Matt and Jordan, and that kept me really competitive, so that was always fun. Um, what was the match like? The match? It was quite interesting. I mean, we knew that I was going to be close going into it, oh, and no. had a high hope for us because we won last year, but we, we just kind of went out there, did what needed to be done, and it came up to the wire, and we were excited. How will being a state championship for the second time further you and your team in golfing? I mean, it definitely got our name out there. Last year, going to nationals like really helped our confidence and really, really got us like excited and wanted us to win again. Sadly, we're not able to go this year. Uh, but we, but I mean, definitely we're going to try and. It was just really fun and kept the competitive net, uh, competitiveness up. <laughs> is there something specific you did to like make it where you are now? I mean, all of us went out there all year long and practiced and shot and did all that we could. So that's great. Um, how was this year's uh, championship different than last year's? How did you improve? Well, it was different because all three of us were seniors and we're losing, we're losing like me, Matt, and Jordan. So it had a lot more risk to it, while last year we didn't have as much high expectations because we, we barely made qualifiers and then we're not there among states. So that was definitely a shift, in, especially since we had a token on our back this year and everybody, everybody wanted, wanted to win. Mm -hmm. I mean, who doesn't? And all food was going at it with us for the whole year and I mean, we just came out on top. Okay, and one last question. Is it an accent? No. Okay, that's it. About two months ago now, we classes have held class elections where new class officers were elected, and uh, since then they've had some time to hold fundraisers and raise money for their classes. And uh, looks like I believe all of them have had at least one fundraiser so far. So props to them. And now we'll cut over to an interview with Mr. Karpak about the grant work he's been doing in Germany. Hello, or as I might say in Spanish, hola. So. Today we have Mr. Cardpath, the tech ed teacher. Hi. So everyone heard in school that you got a big funding amount. Would you like to tell us about what that was about? Yes. So the Roland Foundation selected my application last year, actually at this time, uh, to undertake a change project here at Otter Valley, and that is centering on our technical training program. Um, and we're going to be working to expand that uh, and give several different offerings, both class-wise and hopefully also in the community. That sounds really cool. Well, thank you. There's, it's not just me, it's a bunch of teachers and staff working on it. If you're watching this and you're a teacher, shout out to you. Uh, so another thing that everyone heard is that you went to Germany. Yes. What do you care to tell us about what it was? Maybe. Do you have any specific questions? But, um, so how was the food? It was fantastic. I had Wiener Schnitzel, Gnocchi, uh, Spetzel, pet Pretzel, and other foods that rhyme with that. Spetzel Pretzel. Pickled everything. Everything. There was pretty much pickled everything which was good if you like pickled stuff. 
Pickles are good. Pickles are good. Okay. Um. So. You wanna know why I went? Why we went there? Yeah, I was about to ask. Oh, yeah. sorry. Why did you go there? Because it's pretty cool. Uh, we went to Germany because they have a very well established career training system. It's called the dual system. You have to go to school just like here till you're 18, but in 10th grade, you can choose if you're gonna to go to college and continue working towards that, or you can go and start an apprenticeship and you're actually paid, potentially starting in 10th grade to go to school. So it's, it's a pretty, pretty unique and interesting system and we're seeing what lessons we can bring back to OV. I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to get paid for being in school. Me too. Um, Wait. Coming up, we have a winter break, and with that, we also have a short spirit week. And then on next Wednesday, right before the break, we have a pep rally. And that's all we have for you today, Otter Valley. And that's the way it is. Signing off, Otter Valley.